Good morning everybody. Welcome back to German Auto House. Uh, today is Monday and here is my project for a day. Why I say project? Because uh, what happens with that Continental, oh sorry, uh, flying spur, yeah it's a four door. Uh, 2006 W12 twin turbo what happened with this car uh, owner parked this car outside and left for a couple months and then he back to car fire up and some starting some glitches Ah, oh, first uh, he can't fire up it's like some battery is dead this is two battery oh, let me show you it's two battery over there here is the main battery This is the starter battery. Starter battery is good. The main battery completely dead. He installed the new battery, tried to crank, nothing. Then he some do relay, one relay replacement, or just like do the bypass for ECU relay. I would like to check these things. And he said he found the big puddle of the water on the passenger passenger floor mat it's like a small pool over there and i think something short or corroded uh, i need to find these gremlins and need to find this damage and first i would like to take out the carpet and check underneath what's going on still play with that bentley already reassembled this area and you can see guys inside I took out the floor mat check the water damage is a few corroded wires but the main problem here because uh, the owner meeting about issue and leaks from this area somebody replaced the fuse and forgot to close this cover proper way and the water leak actually inside and the problem is now we don't have any actuation for uh, ECU main relay. We have two ECU uh, power supply relay and one of them don't have any actuation. If you mechanically just like bypass this, yeah, it's fine. It works, engine running, but no any actuation. We need to check a wiring diagram and still check the what's going on what happens and people another car what i want to talk about this car audi s6 let's see oh it's still we just use it for quick scan outel i would like to say outel it's good scanner what do you think Kilian? this is like a multi multi scanner is the best right it works yeah it works just the, the coolest things is quick and this scanner always keep the history record. If sometime you have problem after couple, two, three months with what car you done, you can check, hey, you have this problem before. We talk about this or just for yourself, you can check the records. But let's see what's going on with this 30,000 mile on this 2017 S6. Uh, Ilya, go take care about customer and let me show what's going on uh, ECU ECU trouble code and this code this is yeah this uh, auto sensor but this trouble code let me zoom a little bit and oil pressure regulation valve electrical error what this is mean the car is already after official dealer audi they check the harness they check ecu then uh, they say it's need replace auto sensor first and uh, oil pressure regulation valve 
it's a big job. Let me leave the car and you can see. It's really big job. I would like to try to show this valve and this valve uh, if it's possible to see this is just a small piece of this valve mm. Mm. maybe you can see guys this is between inside between this bolt and AC compressor. You just uh, you can see that just a small part of this valve. It's really, really deep inside. And for this valve, here is the valve. Here is the valve. Let me show you. This guy. This guy. Here is the part number of this valve. They update to M before it's I believe it's a C and this valve something and okay it's a common problem from Mercedes from many of the cars and Audi some electrical electrical error what happens we don't know but the dealer actually remove connector and check the power supply and output Everything is good, looks good. Of course, this is a couple year old car and low miles, but the valve needs to be replaced. For this replacement, drain coolant, remove engine subframe cradle, uh, engine mount, AC, and lift the engine on the hoist, and then just like with the two finger, and one small bolt you take out the valve and an install new one. For this small guy, need to replace a lot. We have to do, this is something around 14 to 16 hour labor job. But the car is new, I hope we, we can do fast because no any corroded bolt, right, from like a, from East Coast, we do, we try to do a little bit faster. But still, a lot of things. Let's start. Whew. After five, six hours, finally, we found the problem and already fixed. Uh, here is the two relay. This is two ECU guys and two relay over there. This is one ECU supplier and second one. And on the both ECU, we don't have the power. Uh, follow me, let me show you some Here is the diagram and this is fuse box, that e fuse box and this is engine management uh, current supply. Uh, this is uh, supply relay 2 and relay 1. Here is the energizer, this is uh, the ground from ECU and here is the fuse F15 and actually this fuse is not present from from this type of the flying spool but this is the uh, permanent 12 volt power and it's going to this relay this this wire is disappear it's corroded I don't know what happens with this but a uh, customer customer he didn't tell to us he tried to fix by itself and we just see this is two relay exactly same we just see the one wire from uh, the power wire from one relay to two relay of uh, two second relay and actually we don't have the one more power uh, the the power wire actual wire from fuse is disappeared we don't know what happened what we did we just added one more wire 
and from fuse connect everything and let's guys check how it is we have a new fuse and look did we connect the button yeah no. well one of them Uh, Ilya, can you assist me please? Fire up, just like we, we fire up without fuse and we can see the relay do not click Nothing Try it a second time Nothing Okay Now, now turn off ignition we install the fuse what we added wire to this relay Ta-da! okay ignition on hop click fire up Ta -da. shut down shut down because we take out the reservoir well now it's uh the fuse is still Energize the relay and let's take a little bit time to disconnect the ground and release relay. Mission complete. We need to check the power leak and if this is no any problem, uh, that car is still have is drained battery a lot because too much things too we have special we have special toys that toys it's the lamp is blink now it's red because battery is really bad we need to charge the battery but normally it's green or yellow one anyway <laughs> yeah and this don't is, use <laughs> this and this is what he did the the owner one just like like i no, think he's an electrician for sure for sure if he have this <laughs> connector okay we need a bug to start not bug we need to start work on audi s6 but i like that we finish bentley's like a little bit all electrical electrical issue and especially that like a rust corrosion it's take a time because you have to think you need to sit and learn that diagram find what problem and spend all day for one wire Okay guys, finally I took apart and I wanna show you how I do and what I do on this car. Uh, S6, the first one I said the uh, engine hoist, engine holder and disconnect the rack, the, the, the shaft from steering to the rack. Then uh, I drop down the engine cradle one engine mount over here and of course fender liner yeah because i have access to the engine mount bolt then i drop down the engine cradle disconnect the one drain little bit coolant from the coolers and uh, remove the line um, here is the engine mount bracket and engine mount bracket over there uh, here is the dipstick tube and then ah yeah i remove the one bracket and then we can see this the flashlight sorry it's i think it's too bright let me just play a little bit yeah disconnect here is the guy oh by the way the sensor you can see the sensor over there yeah here is the sensor already disconnect connector and now oh by the way ac pump and guys i do not drain engine coolant and i do not uh discharge ac system 
what I did, I just take out the, uh, remove the three bolt, what is hold, hold uh, AC compressor and disconnect input shaft to the AC compressor. And then one small uh, T30 bolt and then I do have access to the sensor and I have room actually room for remove the sensor. Yeah, see, gently, 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 and here is the guy, here is the guy, and let's check the resistance, let's check the resistance, and check how is, maybe, I, I'm not sure, I have, we have, you, if you remember, just mentioned about electrical error, and I am sure this problem with the resi resistance. Let's check the resistance. Maybe some broken side. Uh, okay, just like hey, this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's broken. It's two pin. I connect it. Yeah, th this is between between nothing, nothing and zero. Let's go to resistance. Um, this is I touch between needles. Yeah, and nothing. Nothing. Let's check the new one. Let's check the new one. I don't want to open the all the way. And the new one. Yeah. You can see the 20 amps over there. Here is the problem. Problem with this solenoid. Now, one, one more time guys. Again, I do not remove AC. I still have the all coolant system fillet except the turbos. And AC over there and I have access to this sensor. I would like to assemble everything back together and uh, not today, tomorrow fire up and make sure I'm done everything right. Well, car is already assembled. Let's fire up and Check the trouble codes. Oh. Oops. Yeah, we also we replace one O2 sensor. If you see that when we scan, we have the trouble code. Uh. Come on, come on, come on! Trouble code. Tada! No trouble code. Mission complete. Uh, I would like to take that car to test drive and return to customer. And also 36,000 miles with that issue. <laughs> it's really funny. Well, 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 well. Audi left. BMW uh, Toyota Toyota Supra I think this is just uh, less than half year old Toyota Supra but guys again and again and again BMW whatever the Supra is good that car is good uh, this car is already set for time attack uh, suspension brakes a uh, few things what we need to do uh, really soon this is guys this is 2021 06 2021 uh, the car is equipped with a GB4 now but we we need to unlock the ECU and then what we want to do we want to program another ECU to get the Ecotech Ecotech tune for multi switch uh, multi switch map switching 
Yeah, with the rolling anti-lock, with the launch control, blah, 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 and four slot for map, and then we need, this is, this is really soon, but for now, we just like, actually for now, we start to work on suspension. We have few wishbone, we need to replace, this is front caster bushing, this one adjustable. We need a done service for this car, because this car go into time attack, after two weeks and he don't want to miss this time attack and then after after this race we took that car back and start work on tune to convert to ecotech tune okay let's start to pull out the suspension and press the bushings the one control arm just install a little bit pre-adjust before installation and this is how it looks uh, adjustable lower rear control arm the bushing one see it's already pressing this is original one here is the adjustable and this is just like ellipse you can adjust camber they call in uh, what is that? Paper. caster rod bushing key yeah one I installed just like pre-adjust before he go into uh, alignment shop to finish adjustment on alignment rock but yeah it's like not that difficult just press in press out and here's just no problem yeah and here is our almost new room we show what happens with this room after a couple vlogs but here is the we want to start one cool things guys just a little bit pre-model i hope new product is coming soon dun, 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 dun. yeah car is done uh, took to small test drive definitely need a alignment because <laughs> just like I adjust alignment by my by my eye. it still looks good it's drivable a little bit camber different I'm sure but yeah everything is looks good except alignment okay see you guys next week.